Bonjour à tous nos téléspectateurs du monde entier et bienvenue à notre INC Concert sponsorisé par le district ecclésiastique de l'Europe occidentale. Aujourd'hui, nous ne célébrons pas uniquement le talent de nos frères et sœurs qui vont interpréter différentes musiques originales de l'Église du Christ, mais nous célébrons également et surtout l'anniversaire de notre bien-aimé ministre exécutif, frère Eduardo Vemanalo. Alors de la part de tous les frères et sœurs ici du district de l'Europe occidentale, joyeux anniversaire pour Ka Eduardo Alors chers téléspectateurs, rejoignez-nous et profitez du INC Concert de l'Europe occidentale. The chosen people of God, representing our faith, now we raise our voice in unity. With the one God placed in the church to lead his nation, this is true indeed. We're never turning away, we stand firm, always keeping the faith, and we will always be. United with the administration, we're INC. Right wing, firm in my calling, though persecuted by friends, but love though the world goes against me. But I don't mind because I got my God, I got my Lord Christ, who gave the leader, who provide the guidance that is needed. Got my fellow brethren who are firm in the teachings I just proven my faith, love and hope I'm all with the church I'm in instruction to my last breath Yes, till my race is completed Et cette trop j'ai des ragots sur internet Des rebelles tentant d'empoisonner nous Elle reste de la planète avec des mensonges Au lieu de la vraie parole L'opposé de bénédiction, ils choisirent malédiction Les vrais serviteurs du Christ s'unissent Avec l'administration de l'église Nous fortifions notre appartenance Il n'y a rien qui pourra jamais nous séparer Aïe si à vie et nous n'allons jamais nous arrêter Who are we The chosen people of God We're presenting our faith Now we're raise our voice in unity With the one God placed in the church To lead his nation This is true indeed We're never turning away We stand firm Always keeping the faith And we will always, always be United with the administration We're INC You can only hear But I can't let me not be The word that led me In the doctrine is that I can't find it In God's love I can't Winning zullen bereiken. Ik ga niet terugkeren, tegenstanders zullen niet inslagen om mijn geloof te ruineren. En mijn liefde voor de kerkadministratie dat geplaatst wordt door God. So they wanna face us, dear brother, lace up. Geef ons geloof niet op, ons breken ze nooit. Ne dégage jamais, les mensonges ignorent les tentant de fausses doctrines pensent qu'elles sont divines, ce n'est pas le cas. Ils veulent n'être qu'un avec le Fils et notre Dieu, mais ne sois pas dupe face à leur ruse mensonge et dire fallacieux. Mais j'y pense ces derniers jours, même si c'est très dur, je suis béni d'être uni dans l'église avec l'administration de Dieu donnant. Des leçons essentielles pour sa nation. Avoir frère Eduardo aux commandes est une bénédiction. I'm representing all my brethren who are staying in the course. Members of the Church of Christ, redeem of the Lord. Detractors, they want to distract us, the devil, the source. That's why they want to harm my faith and try to take it by force. Better raise my torch, walk the righteous path I was taught. Obey my spiritual leaders, cause it pays by the Lord. Step from in the faith, till I reach the promise you all. We bend together as one, united in one accord. Who are we? The chosen people of God, representing our faith. Now we raise our voice in unity. With the one God placed in the church to lead his nation. This is true indeed. We're never turning away, we stand firm, always keeping our faith, and we will always be united with the administration. We're En dan God voor zijn goedheid. Hij zegt me met mijn roeping zo mijn veed al onbestollen. Ik zal wachten voor wat goed is, zo des evil. Apollen, het duivel maakt problemen, maar ik werd de bol zo hard. Wat niet naar het ben gesleept, mijn inspanning zal ik verdubbelen. Ik ben één met Ivia, ENC, tot het einde. En de waarheid en de kerk en het geloof zal ik verdedigen. Since back in the day, the truth hasn't changed. No matter what people say, God's words remain the same. They're consistent throughout existence. We're one with God and Christ, true Christians. Every day, run your race with the one leading us. Guard your heart so God sees that we're serious. Keep in mind and hold tight to His promises. Obedience, love for God are synonymous. 
unis au vrai Dieu et à son fils, unis à son administration, que ses plans se produisent, unis dans le même état d'esprit, mes pensées s'alignent aux écritures afin de recevoir quelque chose de divin. Le plan que Dieu fit la voie tracée par le Christ et celui qu'ils ont choisi pour nous mener aujourd'hui. Un avec l'administration d'un monde entier, démontre qu'en Christ, on peut tripucher mais pas tomber. Who are we? The chosen people of God, representing the faith. Now we raise our voice in unity. With the one God placed in the church to lead his nation. This is true indeed. We're never turning away, we stand firm, always keeping the faith. And we will always be united with the administration. We're I and C. We will stand, we will stand united. No one can, no one can divide us. Show no fear, show no fear, we're fighting for our faith. So we will stand, we will stand united. No one can, no one can divide us. Show no fear, show no fear, we're fighting for our faith. Panantol tayo, pundasyon kaya hindi tayo magigib na kalob sa puso at isipan ng banal niyang salita Kaya nabasado ng karapatan sa paglilingkot sa ama Kami mula sa pagsunod ganap na nagkakaisa Kami tupas sa pastulan, ang Diyos sa aming tanggulan Wala nang sino mang lalabas pa sa atin mula sa kawan At para ng hula, ang siyang ebidensya Mananatili kami sa kaniyang iglesia Makikipagkaisa ako sa pamamahala Ano man ang tutunin na kanilang iba panukala Sapagkat kasangkapan sila ng aking ama para lalo magtumibay ang aking pananampalataya At magdanas man ang mga pag-uusig at pagsubok Ay hindi hindi ako maliligari Dahil di nagamit niyang kasukapan ng namamahala Upang ituro sa atin ng kanyang banal na salita Kung sa aking pakikipakaisa Sa pamumahalang inalagay na ating ama Sa mga payot na kubili na mula sa kanila Na magtingkot sa Diyos o siyang may alaging sumamba Sa bawat panahon ay sinasama sa parlangin At ang gawang paglabang kay naman di ko isipin Pangako kong tungkulin ay I am one with God, I am one with Christ, I am one with him again. Who are we? The chosen people of God, representing our faith. Now we raise our voice in unity. We do what God face in the church to lead this nation. This is true indeed. We're never turning away, we stand firm, always keeping the faith. And we will always be united with the administration. Welcome once again to the In Concert of Western Europe. In the Church of Christ, we are so blessed to have a loving church administration guiding us. Truly, their role is so important in our service to the Almighty God, as we can read in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and the verses are 18 to 20. Now all things are of God, who has reconciled us to Himself through Jesus Christ, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to Himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. The Bible tells us that just like during the time of the first century Church of Christ, the church administration has been given the ministry and word of reconciliation. And as we can read in Colossians 1.21, we need to be reconciled because we were once alienated and enemies of the Almighty God because of wicked works. Through the preaching of the church administration, we can be reconciled to the Almighty God. That is why, let us take to heart this statement of the Apostle John in 1 John chapter 1, verse 3. What we have seen and heard we announce to you also, so that you will join with us in the fellowship that we have with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. God wants us 
to be united or have fellowship with the church administration. So we could be united or have fellowship with the Father and with our Lord Jesus Christ.
sa atin ay ikaw na ang ating sa Diyos na lumayan sa atin kaya atin ingatan ating kaugnayan ang ating buhay ay bago Upang wag tayong mahulog sa kasalan na Pagmapayo nila'y nagirain pakinggas Ako pa sumunod sa kanilang pasya Ito ay akin na pag-ibig nila Ang hinay at hindi kabubuti At sa iglesia ay makapanatili At sa bayang banda tayo'y masama-sama Ito ay akin na pag-ibig nila Upang wag tayong mahulog sa kasalan Pag-ingas at upang sumunod sa kanilang pasya Ito ay atay na pag-ibig nila Ang hinay at hindi kabubuti At sa iglesia ay makapanatili At sa bayang banda ay masama-sama Ito ay atay na pag-ibig nila As we heard in one of the performances earlier, we must always submit to the church administration because it is God who placed them to lead His church in these last days. What is the proof? Please allow me to read the statement of Apostle Paul, one placed by God to administer the church in the Gentile lands during the first century. Here in Colossians 1.25, I have become its minister according to God's administration that was given to me for you to make God's message fully known. This is the reason in the Church of Christ we are being led by a minister placed by God to administer us and make God's message fully known. In our time, our executive minister is Brother Eduardo V. Manalo. Like the apostles before, what does Brother Eduardo do to make God's message fully known, so all members can be strong in the faith and worthy of salvation. He preaches, labors, and strives, as we can read in Colossians 1, 28-29. Him we preach and proclaim, warning and admonishing everyone, and instructing everyone in all wisdom, comprehensive insight into the ways and purposes of God, that we may present every person mature, full-grown, fully initiated, complete and perfect in Christ, the Anointed One. For I labor into weariness, striving with all the superhuman energy which He so mightily enkindles and works within me. Isn't this what we can see our Executive Minister, Brother Eduardo Vimanalo, doing? He tirelessly teaches us, so all the members of the Church of Christ will be strong in the faith. What else is the task entrusted to them by God? And what is our responsibility to our spiritual leaders? Let's read in Hebrews 13, 17. Obey your spiritual leaders and be willing to do what they say, for their work is to watch over your souls, and God will judge them on how well they do this. Give them reason to report joyfully about you to the Lord. And not with sorrow, for then you will suffer for it too. The task that the executive minister performs is very important. He is responsible for watching over the souls of the brethren in the church. We all know that the Church of Christ's mission is already worldwide in 158 countries and territories. The executive minister exerts effort to oversee the brethren wherever they may be in the world. Hence, because of the magnitude and importance of our executive minister's task, as the Bible tells it, it is only right that we submit to him and give him reason to report joyfully about us to the Lord. Oh 
pag-ibig ng Ama ay ating damang-dama dahil naghalal siya ng pamamahala sa iglesia Sila ang gumagabay sa ating pamumuhay Sila ang nagpapantay sa pananampalataya nating taglay Pati ang buhay nila ay ihandog Kung pakailanganin Tunay nila tayong minamahal Araw at gabi sila'y nagpapagal Nang tayo ay makarating Sa bayang banal Sa bayang banal Ipangako natin sa Ama Pasasako tayo sa kanila Hindi natin sasayangin Pagmamalasakit nila sa atin Sa ama ay ating hinihin Ang pamamahala ay mahalin Nawa ay patuloy silang sama Pati ang buhay nila ay ihahandog Kung kakailanganin Tunay nila tayong minamahal Araw at gabi sila'y nagpapagkak Nang tayo ay makarating
sa ibang bansa Ito'y patunay na walang anumang magiging hadlang Sinisinop mo pa rin aming gabay sa hakbang Tago bilang napakinggan Di dapat malimutan Aming susundin na dami pong magtatalagahan Kami panatag Pag nakikita kang nakangiti Di ka man abot ng paningin sa bawat sandali Na wala po kami na dapat pang ipag-alala Salamat po sa pagkat sa amin Laging nangumuna ka Salamat sa pag-ibig mo Sa kalitasan at hangag May pananampalataya Pag-ibig at pag-asa Namin ay palaguin Ang tungkulin to pa rin Sa pabubunga Katotohan ay ipalalaganap Dito sa mundo ito Nagpuspos na mga hilahin Ng pag-abak Nang hirap suliranin na po Bawa pa yun mo Nag-aalis sa tagla ng lungkot Sa aming buhay Ano mang pasubok na danasin Hinihikayat mo na magtiis At huwag matagot kung mapagod Ay lagi manalangin sa ama Sa lahat ng panahon ay maaasahan siya Maraming, Maraming hamon Nabigay nito nga Sa nibutan Maraming, Maraming ulit Ito'y iyong napagtagumpayan Ika'y palaging Ligtas sa mga kapahamakan Mahal po namin Tagapamahalang Pangkalahatan Salamat sa pag-ibig mo Kami patuloy mo Pinangungahan Pansawang ginagagayan Kami sinisihok mo Ang pala na iglesia Umagalit ka sa'yo Ang pagbibigay ng mga payot sa white Na 
siyang makakatulong po sa aming paglalakbay Ang tanging gusto mo ay kami ay makatagal Patuloy pa na tumupad sa tungkulin na banal Pag natuturo, iba't ibang bansa ang di narayo Habang kami tulogi kay nasa paglalakbay Nagtutungo ka po sa iba't ibang lokal Di mo naalinta na ang pagod at pagpagal Sa pagtupad, wala kang panahong pinipili gabi at araw Gumagawa sa bawat sandali, wala kang oras na sinasayang Walang humpay kang kumikilos dahil ang panahon ay nagmamadali sa pagparito Ng ating Panginoon Heso Kristo, iginayap mo po lahat ng iglesia ni Kristo Sapagkat di na magluluwat, di magtatagal makakarating na maninirahan sa nila ang bayang banal Salamat sa pag-ibig mo, kami patuloy mo, pinang Notre ministre exécutif ne se lasse jamais de nous instruire, surtout pendant les services d'adoration. Quelle est l'une des choses qui nous rappelle toujours qui est un commandement de notre Seigneur Dieu Voici ce qui est écrit dans Colossiens 1, 10. Alors, vous pourrez vivre comme le veut le Seigneur et vous ferez toujours ce qu'il lui plaira. Vos vies produiront toutes sortes de bonnes actions et vous grandirez dans votre connaissance de Dieu. Quelle est l'une des choses que Frère Édouard Manalo nous rappelle toujours Que nous devons vivre comme le veut notre Seigneur Dieu et toujours faire ce qu'il lui plaît. Comment pouvons-nous faire cela Second Pierre 3.11 nous dit que notre vie doit être sainte et consacrée à Dieu. Afin que nous puissions être saints, l'administration de l'Église nous instruit à soutenir le renouvellement intensif de notre vie et l'obéissance intensive au commandement de notre Seigneur Dieu. On nous apprend également à aider dans toutes les œuvres de l'Église. Par exemple, en partageant notre foi, en donnant nos offrandes, en soutenant toutes les activités de l'Église et encore beaucoup d'autres choses, afin que nos vies puissent être consacrées à notre Seigneur Dieu. Quel sera le résultat si nous sommes consacrés et dédiés à notre Seigneur Dieu Lisons ce qui est écrit dans Psaume 91, 14 jusqu'à 16. L'Éternel dit, « Parce qu'il est dévoué à moi, je le délivrerai, je le protégerai, parce qu'il m'est fidèle. Quand il m'appellera, je lui répondrai. Je serai avec lui quand il aura des ennuis. Je vais le sauver et lui apporter l'honneur. Je le satisferai d'une longue vie et lui laisserai voir mon salut. Si nous sommes dévoués à notre Seigneur Dieu, le Seigneur nous dit qu'il nous protégera, qu'il répondra à toutes nos prières et surtout qu'il nous accordera le salut au jour du jugement. C'est pourquoi notre frère Eduardo Manalo nous enseigne qu'à la place de placer notre espérance dans les choses de ce monde et de nous concentrer sur les différents soucis de nos vies, nous devrions placer notre espérance dans la grâce qui sera la nôtre. Oh, oh, oh.
Binigyan ang karapatan na sa kanya'y maglingkod Natutuhan ko ang aral, ang aral Ako'y magpapakasigla sa aking pagtupad palaging kaisa Sa lahat ng aktibidad at kailanman Ay hinding-hindi lalabag Anuman hamon ang harapin magpapakatatag Sa pangako ng ama na kanyang inilaan Sa mga hinirang na nagtapat sa kahalalan Ako'y taas noong iglesia ni Kristo hanggang wakas Ako'y ligtas sa araw ng kawakasan Ikinararang ako na ako'y kaanin Sa tunay na iglesia ni Kristo Ang Diyos na tumawa sa akin Ako ay pinilihan ang maging tunay na likod Kaya kailanman ako'y di natalikod Ang kahalalan ay inatan Ang natamuhin ang kaligtasan Maging kong mahirap magdala ng buhay Kailangan kong magsikap, kailangang maghanap buhay Ngunit di sapat na ang pagtuunan ay ang pamumuhay Pagkat higit sa lahat ay ang walang hanggang buhay Pag-uusik, pagsubok, paghamak, panguupat Ito'y bahagi sa pagsubok sa aking kahalalan Nakahanda ako'y sa alang-alang ang lahat Matupad ko lang ang tungkuling sinumpaan Tumitindi ang pag-uusik, maging ang kahirapan Meron mga nagtaksil at meron man lumaban ng ikaw Iglesia, ay pilit na nililiglig nila Ngunit sa lahat ng paninira Di ako padadala Iingatan ko itong kahalalan Di ako bibitaw Ano man ang mauna Wakas ng lupa o pagpanaw Ang dakilang araw Ito'y buong pusong hinihintay Umaasa ako matyagang naghihintay Ikinararangal ko na ako'y kaani Sa tunay na iglesia ni Kristo Ang Diyos na tumawa sa akin ako kaya kailanman ako'y hindi natalikod Ang kahalalan ay inatan Ang natamuhin ang kalitasan Pinipas ang maaraw, maging ang panahon Anong mang oras ay darating na ang Panginoon Di ako papayag sa paglalakbay ay maiwan Ligtas na ako pagdating ng araw ng paghuhukong Ako'y mapalat, mapalat, mapalat Ako'y panatag, panatag, panatag Sa ama ako ay laki sa kanyang tatawag Ako'y laging ingatan sa lahat ng aking lakas Na sa lahat ng panahon at mga sandali Pangalan ko sa aklat ng buhay, huwag mapawi Sa kawan ay hinding-hindi na ako aalis Nakahanda ako na lahat ay tiisin dahil kay Kristo Na nagpapalakas sa akin Ako'y lingkod Kaani po ako, ako iglesia ni Kristo, hindi ko to ikinahihiya Kemanan sa mundo, ito'y mababaliwala Ako iglesia ni Kristo, ito'y aking ikinararangal Ikinararangal ko na ako'y kaani Sa tunay na iglesia ni Kristo Ang Diyos na tumawa sa akin Ako ay pinilit ang maging tunay na likod Kaya kailanman ako'y hindi natalikod ang kahalalan ay inatan Ang katamuhin ang kaligtasan Ako'y likod, kaani po ako Ako'y iglesia ni Kristo Hindi ko to ikinahihiya Kailangan sa mundo ito'y mababaliwala Ako'y iglesia ni Kristo Ito'y aking ikinararangal Ikinararangal ko na ako'y kahani Sa tunay na 
Ikaw'y na iglesia ni Cristo ang Diyos ang tumawa sa akin ako ay piniling ang maging tunay niya likod kaya kailanman ako'y ditatalikod ang kahalalan ay ilanan ang katamuhin ang kalitasan Rester sur la piste. Les temps de souffrance dans cette vie ne t'épargneront pas, mais surtout ne fais pas la grave erreur de perdre la foi. Garde espoir et prie toujours pour avoir la force en toi afin de combattre l'ennemi qui guettera tes moindres faux pas. Tu sais que pour faire régner le mal, il n'est jamais inactif, donc prends garde de ne jamais te détourner de ton objectif. Car si tu veux parvenir à la ligne d'arité et recevoir le salut que Dieu a promis de te donner, tu devras rester fort dans la foi malgré ton passé et toujours demeurer fidèle à celui, celui qui t'a tout donné. As our in concert draws to a close, we would like to thank you all for joining us. Most of all, we would like to thank our Lord God and also the church administration for allowing us to have activities like this. There is no doubt that great is the concern and wholehearted is the love that our beloved executive minister has for us. He always encourages us to have these types of activities that inspire us and strengthen our faith so we can continue in our service and worship of our Lord God. So according to the Bible, how should we regard the executive minister as he is the one whom our Lord God uses as his instrument in leading and caring for us? This is what is stated in 1 Thessalonians 5, 12 to 13. Dear brothers and sisters, 
Honor those who are your leaders in the Lord's work. They work hard among you and give you spiritual guidance. Show them great respect and wholehearted love because of their work and live peacefully with each other. When one greatly respects someone, he gives utmost importance to that individual. One does not leave his side or betray him. When one has wholehearted love for someone, he does not oppose the one he loves or sympathize with those who go against him. Why is it only right that we have great respect for the executive minister and give him our wholehearted love? He works hard to give us spiritual guidance. We have seen that numerous times the executive minister has put his life on the line for us. He does not mind getting tired and enduring difficulties. He bravely goes to dangerous places just so he can see personally the condition of the brethren there and extend his care for them. Hence, what should we do for the sake of the executive minister? Let us read in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, the verses are 1 to 2. Finally, pray for us, brothers, that the Lord's message may spread rapidly and be honored, just as it was with you, and that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men, for not all have faith. Let us always pray for our beloved executive minister. Let us pray to our Lord God that he continues to open the mystery of his words to the executive minister, so his message will all the more spread rapidly and be honored. What else should we pray concerning the executive minister? Let us implore to our Lord God not only to bestow upon him the best of health, but also to deliver him from wicked and evil people, or those whose aim is to hinder what our Lord God wants to happen to the church. We truly feel the love of the church administration. Let us do our part as well to love them in return and always unite with them. When we do this, we will be sure to receive not only God's blessings in this life, but also salvation on the day of judgment.
he continues to lead us to the will of God, we will follow. Our faith will not be shaken, our love will remain true, for the hope of salvation we firmly hold on to. Salamat sa ating Ama, kami may namamahala. Lagi nyo kami tinuturuan na sa Diyos ay magtiwala. Lagi po kayong nagpapaalala na kami di dapat mabahala. Ilagang ang pag-asa sa biyayang darating. Amin pong namamahala sa pagpapayo sa amin di kayo nagsasawa. Ang aral ng Diyos sa amin ay pinauunawan na manindigan kami na gawin kung ano ang tama. Namamahala po kayo na may integridad. Kayo po ang huwala namin sa aming pagtupad. Naglulunsad kayo ng mga aktibidad. Sa layunin na kami ay maging masigla at matatal. Malayo man kayo sa piling namin di hadlang. Kamusta na kami? Yun ang lagi niyong inaalam. Kami po'y laging kaisa. Nagpapakasigla Sigla din nagsasawa na lumapit Manalangin sa Ama Nasanay, ingatan po kayo sa bawat sandali Palakasin, patatagin Bawat oras patnubayan kay Saan nyo po kami tungo po sa kaligtasan At pangako namin kailanman Ay hindi so, hindi kami lalaban Sa kami ang laging iman Iniisip palagi aming kapaganan Kahit buhay man ninyo Nakahandang ilaan Maingatan lang kami Mahipagsanggalan May mga lumaban at may mga nanira Tinangkang pinsalain ang inyong pamamahala Nagsalita ng salitang masasama Hindi sila nagtagumpay at sila'y napahiya Bumangon na mga huwad na mananampalataya Nagtangka na sira ay natin pagkakaisa Pinili ninyo kami Higit sa kanila Hindi kayo pumayag na kami Masakta nila Kami lubusan po na magtatapat Taglay ang taos, pusong galak Nakahanda kaming lahat Magtsaga, magpagal Upang aming madama ang inyong ngitit pagmamahal Pangako po namin sa Diyos habang may buhay patlakas hanggat kami mga hinirang at hanggang wakas puspusan po na susunod magpapasakop ng ganap ng upang sa paghuhuko maligtas po kaming lahat. Kaysa po kami sa pagtupad ng tungkulin Kanunglihin po namin ang pagsisikaw Sumasigyan ang pagsumuhan para lagugin ang pagsumuhan Sunirain ay bumangon at sa amin ay umabot na itinuturing naming isa matinding pagsubok. Pinatunayan po sa amin ng pag-ibig nyo kaya pangako po di kami aalis sa tabi nyo. 
Ka Eduardo, marami pong salamat sa inyo Pagkat sa gitna ng lahat kami po ang pinili nyo At sinisinop nyo upang kami ay mapangunahan Kami ay susunod at hinding hindi lalaban Magpapasa ko po at puspusan na susunod Upang sa ating amay lubusan ng makalugod Sa panawagan nyo kami ay lagi po natutugon Gusto namin maligtas sa araw ng paghuhukom At nung sinabi nyo ang buhay nyo'y ilalaan sa amin Mamamatay na muna bago kami pinsalain Hindi kami papay Ayag na mangyari po iyon kami sa paninyo Kayo ay aming ipagtatanggol Salamat po kami ay tunay na mahal nyo Para sa amin ay handang ibigay Lakas at buhay Sa Diyos pangal